It was a case of regifting Vatican style. The present was a Harley Davidson Dyna Superglide, not to anyone's knowledge on the Pope's wish list, but perhaps remembering 2 Corinthians that the Lord loveth a cheerful giver, Pope Francis accepted it nonetheless. And he even autographed the gas tank, a signature that went as well on the motorcycle jacket that came with the bike. But what to do with the hog, as Harley owners lovingly call their machines? It's pretty hard to imagine any pope, no matter how informal, wanting to jump on the back of a bike in his paper whites to let his chossable fly free in the wind. 85,000, we the old line big. So the Vatican decided to auction off the Harley for charity. Caritas Roma, in fact, the Catholic organization which runs soup kitchens and shelters for the homeless. With the auctioneer imploring the heavens to encourage the bidding, the bid from there. prices went steadily upward. 210,000. Until it was finally sold for 210,000 euros, about $285,000, more than 10 times the sale price. Thank you, online. The winning bid came in by telephone, and the bidder's identity remains anonymous. The papal leathers, that motorcycle jacket signed by Pope Francis, went to a different bidder for another 50,000 euros, or almost $70,000. And just to join in the charitable spirit, the auction company which handled the sale as part of its annual auction of collectible vehicles in Paris says it will not charge its usual 10% fee. The auctioneers say the Pope was actually given two Harleys, so perhaps one day there'll be another holy hog to bid on, or perhaps the Pope will just want to keep it for tooling around his earthly domain. Jim Bitterman, CNN, Paris.